Hi, this is Zach Mir, editor of Spreadbet Magazine, with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Tuesday, August the 19th. And I'm starting off with Afrin, where obviously we've had the aftermath of a severe break to the downside and big unfilled gap uh, through the 140 to 120 region. An attempt at consolidation here over the past uh, couple of weeks. Uh, we're sort of in a triangle formation here, roughly 108 to uh, 99 pence. Uh, this could also be part of a falling price channel since the beginning of May uh, with a 109 pence uh, barrier uh, there from yesterday's high. Um, chance of recovery here back towards £1.20 is the best case scenario, but really um, it looks as though there is uh, plenty of downward pressure here with the falling, uh, falling uh, near-term moving averages. Uh, we could give the shares the benefit of the doubt while there was no end-of-day close back below the 10-day moving average at 99 pence. Uh, but there is the risk that uh, a break of that feature could take the shares back down for one final uh, probe to the downside as low as 80 to 85 pence. But uh, if you are a, a bottom fisher here, a bargain hunter, uh, maybe you would wait um, for uh, that uh, potential sell trigger before getting out of uh, your position. Uh, looking at uh, Castleton Technologies, we have a rather happier position here over recent uh, weeks and months. Uh, rising trend channel here from the end of January, beginning of February. Uh, the floor of the channel roughly just below the 50-day moving average, currently at 1.15 pence. And a decent consolidation here since uh, the beginning of August with uh, what, what looks like a uh, bull flag uh, just above the 20-day moving average. Indeed, uh, well, we can say at the moment that while there's no end of day close back below the 20-day line at 1.22 pence, uh, we would be looking for the uh, implied target here. Uh, back up to uh, 1.8 uh, pence, uh, which is the top of this year's uh, price channel. RSI around 63, so not overbought at the moment. And uh, as I said, this looks like a bull flag uh, with the end of day close back above 1.4 pence, uh, leading to the suggested 1.8 pence target. Uh, finishing off with uh, what has been a quite difficult and uh, painful at times um, situation, serious minerals. Uh, here, the uh, overall pattern here since uh, December is a sort of a triangle formation. We had the four, we had a false break to the downside uh, below 10 pence uh, earlier uh, in August, uh, and then if you look uh, closely, you can see how uh, the start of this week we've had an unfilled gap to the upside through the 200-day moving average at 11 pence, uh, which looks like uh, really a sort of uh, a message from the stock saying that uh, uh, we're going to try and push to the upside after the bear trap. Uh, of the past couple of weeks. Uh, this positive momentum coming in from an RSI break, RSI line break uh, through 50, uh, leaving the RSI currently at 57. So that gives uh, potential uh, positive momentum there. And uh, the chances are that if we break uh, back above the uh, 12 pence uh, resistance line from uh, December, we could see a target of 14, 15 pence, basically uh, retesting the initial highs of this year. This stage only really uh, back below 10 pence again on a sustained basis would get the shares back into outright bearish territory. That's it for me. More updates at spreadbetmagazine.com.